What's up guys, today I'll be going over Sinus Mod 10.1 on the Galaxy S4. As many of you know already, most people flash Sinus Mod to get the stock Android experience on their device. And as you can see, Sinus Mod 10.1 looks really great on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Everything's vivid, great, and snappy, and smooth. Sinus Mod 10.1 is also based off of Android 4.2.2, so everything is basically up to date. And also, Sinus Mod version 10.1 Android 4.2.2, and it is a lightly build, so you might have some bugs as well. Sinus Mod 10.1 in my personal use is also more stable than other ROMs such as Slim Bean or Paranoid Android. They just aren't as stable enough as Sinus Mod yet. And what's really cool about Sinus Mod is that it also packs in a bunch of features. So in the system settings you can see that we have status bar, quick settings, notification drawer, power menu. We just get tons of settings with Sinus Mod. And then if we scroll down just a bit, you can see that we have the advanced options so we can edit some sort of advanced options as it says, such as different modes, negative mode, which is in my opinion useless, haptic feedback, which is actually very interesting, and the key backlights, which I use often. And for those of you out there wondering about the camera application, it does work perfectly fine. As you can see, I'm taking pictures, I can view it in the gallery, zoom in perfectly fine, full of that 12.8 megapixels. That's right, Sinus Mod does count it down to 12.8 megapixels. I'm sure this will be fixed. I really didn't notice any downgrade. Now, as I mentioned, Sinus Mod is very smooth. Sometimes I'll just open up my app drawer and flip through the apps just to see how smooth it actually is. However, I did notice that when you lock the device, there is an occasional stutter along with unlocking it, which is sort of glitchy, I guess you could say. But other than that, everything was smooth, such as opening applications, for example as well as multitasking, which is very smooth. I didn't have any problems with multitasking or killing apps. Here I am watching a YouTube video, and as you can see, everything is perfectly fine. There's no stutters or anything. Everything is really smooth on Sinus Mod right now, even though it is an early build. All in all, I found Sinus Mod to be the best ROM, as I said before, to flash on your Galaxy S4. It is awesome, you guys. It is truly awesome. And that just about sums up everything about Sinus Mod 10.1 on the Galaxy S4. It's an awesome ROM. I highly recommend it. There will be a link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you all later.